Good morning. Here's a look outside. We've got that sunrise already happening. Love to see that. But of course, the cloud cover over that as well, uh, causing, of course, a great start to our day eventually here. But hopefully we can get some more sun peeking out and brighten things up a little bit. So this is on our Storm Team Skycam Network in Fargo. Elsewhere, we might be seeing some more clear skies uh, up to the north and west, and that'll help us out temperature wise. Speaking of yesterday, we just could not warm up in Fargo. We didn't quite get to 70 because those clouds just hung around. But as we were saying yesterday, one or two places might get to 70 and they did. It just missed the, the metro area. Gwinter at 70 degrees, Wheaton 72 and Sisseton hit 75. Everywhere else we were in the 60s for the day yesterday. So that kind of started that cool down process and we'll continue in that in that vein throughout uh, the work week here, the rest of the work week. Here's a look at our temperatures right now. We're in the 40s up in the north and in the Southern Valley, some low 50s. Right now we're at 50 in Fargo and 48 in Grand Forks. Wind is pretty light in the south up in the north. That's where we're seeing some stronger wind speeds into the teens. A 16 mile per hour speed in Langdon and 14 in Devil's Lake. Those are the strongest winds. And now visibility is down. We're looking at visibility down to less than two miles in Langdon and right at two miles in Cavalier. So we're going to keep an eye on that area for that fog. And here's a look at our radar and satellite picture. You could see that we would get fog there if we get that wind to ease up a little bit in some spots and to the clear skies that allows that fog to form. And it looks like that's what's happening there. Uh, and down in the south and east, mainly in the uh, cloudy side of things in Fargo and over by Bemidji and Fergus Falls. Now that's the focus for a chance for some rain and some thunder coming up for today, mainly just some rain with the next system that's going to be lifting through uh, parts of the plains in the Midwest. So it's hitting Sioux Falls right now and eventually continuing its way up to the northeast. So it's Lakes Country in Minnesota that would be most concerned about uh, getting another round of rain. Let's expand the view. They've had some severe weather in other parts of the plains and this morning waking up to some storms in the Dallas Fort Worth area and then this whole line stretches up again up toward the Sioux Falls region as well. There's some snow up in the Rockies uh, over at Yellowstone and into the uh, Rockies in western Montana as well. So uh, a lot of active weather happening right now in the central and western parts of the U.S. Over to the east, a very quiet day, or at least start to the day here this morning. So here's a look at our forecast. We've got some temperatures today that are going to be on their way to the 60s, but not everybody. It's going to be a cooler one. Noon hour, some breaks in the clouds, and especially up northwest, that's where we'd be more likely to see the clear skies throughout much of the day. Uh, and then into the later afternoon, we see that area of rain continue to try to lift into the valley, into Lakes Country, Sisseton, back over to Fergus Falls and Wadena. That would be where we would expect to see the best bet for rain. And then further south from there, if you need to head down toward the Twin Cities, you're going to run into that. Up to the north and west, different story. You're going to enjoy some more sunshine there. But cool, temperatures in the mid-50s to some low 60s for your highs today. And breezy too, that wind out of the north or northeast around 5 o'clock. And we'll see winds in the gusts in the 20s to about 30 miles per hour. So a breezy one, especially later today, with eventually those rain showers uh, moving out. But they will linger into the late night hours tonight down in that area. So overnight tonight, we see those clouds hang around a little bit. And eventually, they do start to clear in the morning hours tomorrow. And we end up with some good sunshine into the second half of the day for your Thursday. But still breezy, still seeing that northeasterly wind uh, cutting into those temperatures. And so we're looking at some mid-50s to some low 60s. 60s again for tomorrow. So not the, the warmest stretch of days coming up here. Check this out. Ottertail County. Rick took this photo of what looks to be a black bear there. Uh, walking around. Watch out for those guys. Uh, and we're looking at on our seven day planner some temperatures in the 60s the next couple of days. And then as we move into the rest of the week and the weekend, just cool. Some 60s, some 50s out there and Saturday and Sunday chances for some rain as well. So this coming weekend, a very different picture than what we had this past weekend. So it was too good. We got yeah. spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lisa. So big changes are coming to a local hotel. We'll take a look inside coming up next.